Coming up next, it's a UFC bantamweight division fight. Ready. You ready to fight? Round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Ooh, big shot lands. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. And he gets the takedown. Well, his wrestling has been a great equalizer thus far in his UFC career, and gets the single leg takedown. And you know that it's his shot. It's his shot of choice, a single leg takedown, and he's securing it, and he's doing it, and scored it over and over. Level change, leg, finish the takedown. Great job. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fight. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Oh, how about the speed on that one? Oh, pretty good entry there, and he gets the fight to his wheelhouse on the ground. Beautiful takedown into the full guard. Look for him to posture and use ground and pound to open up submission opportunities. And he's back to his feet. Good sign for him there. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Just misses there with the left. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Under 90 seconds now to go in round one. Back to the leg kick now, that one's no good. Seconds remain in the round. There's no give on that leg kick. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Oh! Oh, straight right. Round two coming up next. All right, let us get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. And how about just the, the sheer volume of head kicks for him? I don't know why this dude's energy bar isn't completely zapped. You can't throw that many head kicks over the course of a fight. But I guess if you're landing them, you might as well keep throwing them. All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round. It was very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. Good punch, Lance. Another beautiful takedown, Lance. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Ooh, all right, he's got the full mount now, DC, and he has proven to be a hard guy to buck off from this position. Oh, because he's so heavy, he keeps his weight down. He really does grind on you with his, with his bottom half. He doesn't do anything with his arms. His arms are free to punch. He's collecting you with his hips and his legs, 
making you make a determination as to whether or not you want to get grounded pounded into the mat or if you're going to give your backups where he will then start to chase chokes. A lot of energy expenditure defensively if you are the bottom fighter in this equation. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Under a minute now to go round two. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Nice defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. Oh, just misses with the kick. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now moving forward. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're training to do and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Big kick land. Slips the punch nicely there. Big head kick land. Oh, wow. Huge head kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Oh, the difference in the striking is crazy. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Over and over, he's landing that big body kick. Trouble now. They say the straight are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Look at him whip his hip to that kick. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Oh! Oh! He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down. Oh! Unbelievable. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time.
movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. 45 seconds remain in the round. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Let's go. He's in the posture now. 20 seconds to go. Lands the ground and pound strike here. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. Let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Blocks that strike. Great kicks there. Beautiful strike. Oh, the difference in the striking is crazy. Oh, oh, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Well, he's been pretty accurate. What a wrestler. That was an amazing takedown. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Three minutes remain in the run. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the grounded pound will be a plenty from this position. and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Watch the shot. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Big kick land. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he got him! He got him! All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Man, how fun is this? That'll do it! He's done, he's done! Oh my goodness, what a fight. Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, 29 seconds of round number four. 
including the winner by knockout, Pepper So there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory. I can't even listen to Jehovah. I really don't know why you think I'm bluffing. When I was never old enough for poker. Everybody wanna be the only one. Better pay your man if you owe me some. But anybody not trying to be given on. Body the body and leave the body slow. If I saw drugs, then I might be rich. But mom said that's how a bad man lives. And bro said that's what a gangland is. So from 16 was a might man kid. They keep saying I'm a young black kid. Okay.